What's up, you guys? I am Michi69, and welcome to Crude Cooking, where it's crude, rude, and a little bit of food. Oh, shit, did I just burn that? Damn! Um, can you guys hurry up? Uh, seriously, burning the whole house down? Like, yeah, I need you to come on. Okay, well, that really sucked. <laughs> welcome, welcome, subscribers. And if you're a non-subscriber, if you subscribe, a unicorn will come bless you with some golden poop. That's just what I hear. If you're old, let me break it down like this. So I'm changing the channel. It's about cooking and baking and stuff. Yeah! With a little bit of language is not appropriate for everybody, but whatever. And we're breaking some rules. And today we're making French pommiers. Or as they're known in English terms, elephant ears. And what in the shit are those? Those are delicious. They're made with the most best puff pastry ever. Sure, go ahead, you store-bought puff pastry. But this wasn't going to be my first video in the series. No, that was how to make puff pastries. Until I deleted it on accident. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to die. Anyhow, let's get cracking to make these pummies. They're so good. You're going to love me for this. Okay, let's do it. All right, you guys. So for today's recipe, the French pommiers, which I'm pretty sure uh, pommier is French for these are fucking delicious. They are so good, dude, and so easy to make. Um, what you're definitely going to need is a huge big bowl of sugar, and we will get to that later. A sheet of puff pastry. I am using my own puff pastry that I made that you guys can see how it was done. It's delicious. Do it. Yeah, don't skip out. Okay, bye. Um, I do have a stick of butter that is at room temperature. A quarter of a cup of brown sugar pack because we be packing it. A tablespoon of vanilla paste because I'm a huge fan of the vanilla bean paste versus regular vanilla, but you can use uh, whatever vanilla you want. And of course, my rolling pin. I've got some about a quarter of a cup of sugar in the raw. And we do have some almonds, but we are going to beat the living shit out of the almonds like bow, bow, bow until they kind of look like this. But the baggie is all crazy stuff. So we're going to move that out of the way. Um, but this is for the filling, and also, I don't use egg wash. I actually use three tablespoons of butter and some uh, brown sugar, and I'm going to melt that for the, you know, the brushing of the pastries. So, as far as the filling goes, this is just a filling that I came up with, and I really, really like the filling. You guys can do whatever you want for the filling. You can make cinnamon sugar. You don't even have to use a filling, to be honest with you, because these things are so freaking good. So, for the filling, we put in the sugar. Get in there. And we will put in the vanilla bean paste. And you guys can use, like, almond paste. Like, you guys, if there's something you don't like about this, just change it. Oh, my goodness. I almost forgot, you guys. You got to do, like, a little sprinkle of salt. Because it's, like, the whole salty thing. Oh, maybe that was a little bit more of a sprinkle. That kind of came out faster than intended. Well, that's okay. We'll be all right. Um, so this is what our filling is going to be, and we are going to mash this together until it has a lovely consistency, and we're going to go ahead and add, we need more almonds than this, so for this recipe, I use about a cup of crushed almonds, half of it is going to go into the mix, and get this all nice and stirred up, and so it. as you can see, this is a nice, pretty even, you know, mix of the ingredients but you guys you can use whatever you want like cinnamon and sugar uh, anything you guys can make these savory and put cheese in them but these are just so good like these things are so freaking good so um now it is time to prepare the pastry now i'm letting you guys know the way that this is done can be simplified i'll also tell you how to do that as well um, but this is like what I've seen actual people in the French pastry shops do. So we're going to do it like that. And let me just tell you, they are so good. Did I already say that? Yes, I did 10 times. I apologize. Um, and sorry for the ca uh, shaky camera and all. My camera has issues. It's having seizures. But I do have more equipment coming in. I was supposed to receive my other tripod and it didn't. So that's why it's so shaky because I'm so fat every time I take a step. It's like, see? It's shaped. Okay, well, anyhow, <laughs> let's get down to the puff pastry business now. Bye, Felicia. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. It is time to roll out our 
beignet, uh, pom, yes, yes, elephant ears. Okay. So what we're going to do is what I have actually seen a lot of professional pastry makers do. And I actually did this and it came out so much better. So you're going to need a huge bowl of sugar and you are going to, rather than flour your surface, you are going to sugar the living tarnations out of it. Oh, sweet Jesus. So let's get out our sheet of puff pastry and roll it out. Right, here is our puff pastry. We have put it on the sugar. And now we're going to add more sugar to that. Pat it down. Really, really good. Like, hey, how the cup of feel? And then we are going to roll it in half. Keep it going. And we are going to roll this out. Please, you guys, make sure your puff pastry is cold because this can get really sticky. I'm just going to go ahead and forewarn you that this is a stick alert, stick alert. So make sure you pick up and re-sugar and get it all rolled out. So that's what we're going to do now. Oh, my goodness. It is time to put this bitch together. Can I get an amen? Amen. All right, you guys. So we have our lovely buttery goodness mix that we made like you can put anything here like i'm telling you um but like all these layers of sugar will caramelize and it'll be like crunchy on the top and like severe like ecstasy heaven like right in the middle oh my god they're so good so first we're going to spread them spread them just like your old friend that you ain't friends with no more because she just spread them spread them she got 25 problems and kids are all them all right guys so let us get this all right out oh yeah let's, let's just uh go ahead and speed up this process i'll be right back now doesn't that look sexy evenly spread out which is more than i could say for that girl okay so next we're gonna take some brown sugar and we're gonna do it like anything else because it's gonna be delicious because the whole point of this is because like this caramelizes and it makes like the best thing ever all right so we got that little sprinkly sprinkly Let's take another handful of just regular sugar and sprinkly, sprinkly. Okay, now, I'm not gonna use the brown, oh, sorry about the shakes, sorry. That yet, but what we are gonna do is to make the palme. So do one fold right here, They're just like this. Oh, yes, ma'am. And press it down. Now, this is what I do. I have a mixture of brown sugar and melted butter. And I'm gonna brush it on there. Brush it on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna fold it again. Oh yes, ma'am. Oh yes, ma'am. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just can't. These are gonna be so good. All right. Pat them bad boys down. Now we're gonna do the same over here. Quarter turn. Quarter turn. Oh yeah. Who's your mama now? My bitch. And again, a brioche. Yes, ma'am. And now let's go for it like this. Just like that. Okay, it's supposed to be kind of like more in the middle, so let's just bring that back. Um, since these are kind of bigger, I do want to leave a little bit of a gap because for my next trick, I'm going to do this. <laughs> Then we'll take that sugar and raw. And then we're going to do this right here. That is it right there. Oh my goodness. Yes. All right. I'm actually going to just cut this in half and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator to stiffen. Like my ex-boyfriend had to do. Actually, it wasn't refrigerator. I think it was Valtra. Oh no, it's not Valtra. It's Viagra, Viagra, whatever. I'm not a dude with a pee pee problem. So uh, let's wrap it up. Make sure it doesn't have any babies, and we'll be back to cut these paniers. On Maybe. a side note, um, I just had to unroll these because I forgot to add my nuts. You know, these nuts. So yeah, um, I just sprinkle them on there, guys. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And we're gonna go ahead and roll that back up. Um, yeah. Oopsie poopsie bombs. <laughs> so yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Um, also, when I do roll them up, I kind of roll them up a little bit tightly. So that way, 
we are able to make it a nice, beautiful roll. Okay, yeah. Sorry about that. Oh. All right, you guys. It is the moment of motherfucker to say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to cut out our pin. Pum yas, baby. Um, I'm going to give you a quick little secret. So... I, when I roll these and I put them in the refrigerator, make sure they're in there for like 20 minutes. Just you, one thing about pastry is you want that suckle cold because like pretty much half the dough is butter. So let's just be realistic. You know what I'm saying? So what I do is people, I see them, you know, cause there is sugar already in it. They'll, um, take some, uh, they dip individually the whole thing in sugar, but since it's already sticky, I just go ahead and sugar it while it's in here because it's already kind of wet a little bit you know from being in there so i just go ahead and sugar it now boom done squeeze 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 and now let's cut our uh, cut out cut out get out of pump here so there is always the bobo one but remember the bobo one's still gonna be good we're gonna keep it it's a keeper so you want to cut them um, i would say about an inch in diameter just cut them and cut them and yeah just keep cutting them you get you get what i'm saying ladies and gentlemen it is time for these delicious palm meals to go in the oven i have a small house or a tiny home so i have a small oven and it's kind of like uh it's not like a toaster oven it's like convention oven so i go at 375 for about 10 minutes i do like to keep an eye on them because you do have to flip them as well as um, we will, I'll show you what happens when I flip them. So I do have brown sugar and butter melted. I do not use egg wash because this comes out so good. And I baste all of these because I'm a master baster. <laughs> and then I take this sugar in the raw and we sprinkle them all over the top. Oh my goodness, these are so, so good. So uh, let's get these bad boys right, in the you guys. Middle rack. Close that bad boy up and let's wait. All right, we're at the halfway point. So P.S. F.Y.I. Here we go. Use parchment paper when you cook these because I have used uh, silicone mat. It didn't work as good. Also, um, you see how they're getting a little bit brown on the top? We're going to flip them at this point so they can get crispy. They're going to be all caramelized and good. And I suggest that you guys don't put them as closely together as I did because they're a pain in the ass to flip. But, like, I really didn't have a choice. I was a small oven, okay? So, forgive me. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these flipped and then I'm going to show you what we're going to okay, do next. I flipped them. I lost a couple. I lost a couple almonds in the mix. So... It doesn't really need them, but I'm going to go ahead and brush these all again. And I'm also going to go ahead and put some more sugar in the raw on them as so. And we're going to put them back in the oven for just a few minutes and wait till you see these bad boys. Holy bitches! All right, the moment of truth! The pommiers are out of the oven. Put them on a cooling rack. What I do is I literally just take the parchment paper and slide it the fuck on there. I like, hello. That right there, all that gooeyness is caramelization. It's caramelized sugar. It is super, super sticky. It's super hot and super effing good. I mean, I'm telling you guys, definitely, definitely give these a try. Um, and if you made it all the way to this video and you made it to the end, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, heck yeah, subscribe to me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will be glad to answer them. Anything you'd like me to attempt or show you, feel free to drop it in the comments. And okay, yeah, okay, thanks, bye.